we about to go get a haircut first the gym though so and then uh i'm gonna take y'all with me to target because it's time for a new hygiene re-up so i'm gonna show y'all my step-by-step -step protein just to show you what i do to you know help the muscle recovery process and all that good stuff okay so I don't use regular milk. I don't drink regular milk. It's gotta be the worst day ever for me to drink regular milk. I just don't do it, so. Oat milk. Get some of these. A banana. Some peanut butter. Whatever your gainer is, whatever your mass gainer is, this is mine. I'm really putting y'all on a sauce right now, for real. It's almost gone. But when I grocery shop, I grocery shop in bulk. So be mainly like two of everything, when, especially when it comes to stuff like this. One scoop, two scoop. Get your banana. You may like, I might not like. Couple strawberries, voila, we are in the game. There you have it. That's literally how I make my shit. All you need is a couple of things. Whew, let's put this on because I don't know what is hitting on outside. Gonna warm up the car and then we are gonna be on our way. It's really dark. I think I'm like two weeks without a haircut. Violating, but it's all good though. I fed my cats this morning, but they acting like they don't wanna eat. So that's a little bit weird, but I'm about to get on out of here. Oh, snap. I hope y'all started y'all day good today. I really don't need too, too much, but I'm just gonna get the basics, like the stuff that I normally always get and show y'all all the products and put y'all on for real so your boyfriend can smell better. And if you just want to get put on some nice hygiene, put y'all on that too. If y'all want gym content, comment below, let me know. The next vlog, I'll take y'all with me to the gym. But you got to you gotta let me know in the comments if you want to come with me. Next clip, I have a haircut. You're about to see a real deal transformation. We going to see. Why ain't mad, nigga? Vitamin shop. Yeah, we can go there. Yeah, car show. What is that? It's my seat. Uh-oh. Yeah, we le I'm leaving the shop right now. I got my brother with me. But he act like he don't want to be on the vlog and shit. You know, niggas be acting weird. So we're going to just let him do what he need to do. But we... We on the way to the vitamin shop. <laughs> we on the way to the vitamin shop and then Target. I'm gonna show y'all what's going on in Target though. I ain't gonna show you what's the vitamin shop. I don't know what he gotta get. He said he gotta get his steroids or something. Cause he do, he work out and stuff like that. So he be doing roids and stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see y'all at Target. I'm not gonna show y'all what we do at, uh, Steroid center. So I see y'all there. When you gonna get in the vlog? I'm like scared of the camera, bro. No, yo, I love the camera. Scared, Annie. Bro, I look so different without my piercings, bro. I don't know why he cut my shit right now. I should've told him. I should've told him, leave, chill out. Yeah. I ain't say nothing. He just cut it, though. But that should've be back in like two days. Bro, somebody opened that shit and left. People are childish, bro. Are you gonna put this on the channel? Yeah, that's what you supposed to do. Like, uh, y'all, we just got the tar here. I did. I said that. Yeah. You still be using that black soap? Right now, I just got this. Mmm. What? Uh, Am I tripping, bro? Oh. I feel like I got everybody business in my camera. Yeah, but I really might as well just get this one. But I can get this one. This one will last longer. That shit go crazy. I ain't never seen no ass. Smells good. Yeah. 
Hey, it smells good. Okay, I gotta get the cocoa scrub too, though. Y'all don't know about that cocoa scrub. The cocoa scrub is what I said. Whatever that shit is. They might be out of it, though. We got this one in Target. Why you can't film in Target no more? Oh, when. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, they dead don't have the kind that I use. What the fuck? Bro, that's lame. I use this coconut scrub, but they don't. It's this brand. But they don't have the coconut one. But what are you laughing at? This nigga is childish. Yo, he trying to act all cool like he don't see the camera. Look, he trying to act like he don't see the camera. <laughs> hey, man, nigga. Hey, nah, but I use I use native deodorant, but I'm be real. I'm not buying it no more because it don't really work for real. It, it's cool. For, it's cool. Like, oh, I use native. But in reality, bro, that shit is not like that. I know you did not just spray no cologne from Target on your shirt. <laughs> you getting nervous? I'm gonna just stick to what I know. Eucalyptus. Man, they gonna wanna know who you are when I post it. Like, they, gonna, they don't know who you are, bro. This is a new channel. Y'all about to tell him this is new content. Don't, don't nobody know who he is. But, Sachi, we gonna go get these condoms now. <laughs> I'm just playing. We not getting them. I'm practicing semen retention, so we not doing none of that. But right now, I only got a couple of things, cause we don't. I don't know what's up with this Target, but they don't have what I'm looking for. So it's looking like a short mid Target trip, but the video is not done. I still got the weekend. This is what you need. This is what you want. I'm gonna look one more time to see if they got that soap, just to make sure I ain't missing. But bro, as of right now, this is all I got. This is everything that's in here. That's it. This is my first time vlogging in public. Mm -hmm. How am I doing? I don't think I'm awkward in there. Mm. Bro, that's crazy. They don't have that shit. It must have sold out because it must have went viral or someone. And yeah, I get my body wash from the women's section. I'm not going to lie because all that... Strong scented shit, it be making my skin break out and I get pimples on my back and that's disgusting. Um, my pimples on my back. I have to go check out then. I ain't get everything I wanted to get though, so I literally only got like five things, but I got this other thing y'all ain't see though. I got this, this is what I use, but I'm gonna show y'all everything that I use when I get to the crib. We gotta go to the vitamin shop and then get some food. I'm gonna see y'all at the vitamin shop or the food place, whichever one we go to first. You see me in the mirror, what I'm doing. Really got that shit on though. Nah, I'm playing. I don't got that shit on. I'm trying to figure out a new pre-workout to use. Cause I like ghosts. But at the same time, I wanna try some new shit. But I also don't wanna just get something just to get it. So and they just tell you what you wanna hear in this store. Like I need to I need to hear from my folks what is a good pre-workout. Cause I've used bucked up. The only ones that I see that I've used is bucked up and ghost but the rest in here i don't see nothing else the rest is big game lfg caged gorilla mode based never seen some of these and as you see you know the haircut crispy though yeah well i'll see i look when i get to the crib though and they got that oxy shred mm. Mm. you know when you see something you think about somebody yeah, face ad man. But I'ma see y'all at the crib. Don't show y'all whatever. Everything that I got, I'm gonna get it together. This is how I do when I get in the shower. You're gonna need some of this. You're gonna want this for sure. No reason for you to go through this in a month or two. I have unlimited, I have a antibacterial soap glitch in my crib. Like I buy it in bulk. I have it forever. What I recommend what works for me, what makes my skin look nice and you know, clean and all of that good stuff. It doesn't have to be this specific kind, but I get this from Target. The Eco Tools, I go in there with this, I get antibacterial soap, a couple of drops of these, hit the whole body, boom, then you're done with it. That's when you go in there for round two with this. Go in there with this, and fellas, it's okay to get product out the women's section. Don't think like, oh, that nigga, gang. The ladies love coconut. If I'm wrong, y'all will see the ladies in the comment section saying that I'm completely wrong. Women do not like coconut smell. But you're not going to see that. Because the women love coconut. Get you some coconut vanilla. 
get you a scrub. Wipe off, of course, the soap that was on there. Hit it, boom. Go in there with some couple pumps of this, boom. Really how that's gonna go. And then, bro, this was only like a $60, $70 Target run. So this will last you. Like, you ain't gonna go through this in no month. Like this will last you some time. And then when you get out, but the real key, go to get you a nice oil that works on your skin. I go back and forth in between the Vaseline coconut and just regular coconut oil type deal. And then you go in there with some of this. Only do the upper half of your body though, bro. Only do the top half with the oil and a scented fragrance. But if you can't do scented fragrances, that's fine. Just get you some lotion. And then after the lotion, it's, cut, it's cool to go in there with some oil. Right now, I'm looking dry. I'm about to shower. My brother's on the grill, so I'm gonna probably, uh, I'll take y'all there too. So I'm about to go do that now. We be doing like these little mini cookouts and stuff like that. We don't fool with a lot of people. When it comes to like bro crib, nobody go to bro crib at all. Like, mm -mm. we don't get down like that, bro. Don't get down like that. In my old days though, I used to party, party, party. I used to tell anybody to come to my crib, bro. Can't nobody come to my crib, nah. Like, I was a nut back then, bro. I ain't had no guidance either though. That's just something that I had to learn, bro. I used to. I used to just wonder why I would wake up and be so frustrated and confused and sad, but I didn't had 20 people in the same place that I'm sleeping. Like, I was lacking. Like, thank God it was never like no evil people. You know? It's just the fact that I had all these different energies, trauma dumping onto each other, getting gone, all type of stuff, bro. And I really wasted my time with that, but I'm very grateful for it because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have the mind that I have today. Cause of course, everything that happens, happens for a reason. And all of that stuff that happened led me up to who I am today. Like fighting, like just fighting problems, fighting your addictions, everything. So make sure you keep your home a home. Don't do it at your crib. Unless it's strictly your people. Like just want to tell y'all about who I am so you can get a better gist of this. So you can go ahead and skip the part of life that I had to go through. And if I can put you on game beforehand, so you're more aware, I would love to do that. So, but I don't, I don't fucked up a lot of like, bro, but it is what it is. People gonna forever judge you, gang. So I don't really too much care about that, bro. Cause I know when it's actual judgment day, that's when it all matters. So people gonna always say something, bro. Like people always love to hold on to that old shit. Like don't nobody really know who I am. Cause they just use, oh, he did this back then. And he's like that. And he's like this, bro. Get the f don't nobody care, bro. That was my uh, morning rant. We about to uh, go to bro crib. I just got a shower. Um. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. A little bit of oil, a little bit of oil and smack my thing. It's a mess in here. Oh. I don't know what shoe I wanna wear. I don't know if I wanna wear the cat or if I wanna wear the van. I think the cat is more like get away from me and um, I'm feeling pretty good today. So I think I'm gonna have to go with the vans. Okay, now I'm locked in. Yep. So, about to go. Now I'm on the way to the cookout. Uh, I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see too much of that cause I told y'all like I don't really too much put my family out there so I'm not supposed to record and drive so let me let me um get with y'all when I get to my destination right quick yeah look at that man. I just want y'all to see the haircut boy. I did the cook out yesterday I forgot to show the plate um, and like I like I've said multiple times, you just never, you never really too much see my family on the internet. So maybe that'll change over time. Maybe they'll be more open to it. But as of right now, it doesn't look like this. That's what they feeling. So I'm really about to just start full on doing gym content and just like giving you straight gym stuff. Cause I didn't gain the weight I've been trying to gain. Yeah, I'm about to just start taking y'all with me to the gym and stuff like that. Cause I feel more comfortable with doing stuff like that now that I didn't actually commit it to it. You know what I'm saying? And basically made it a life now. Cause I had to change, bro. Like, it was hard to get into the gym. I tried it 
and it didn't work for me. And I tried it over and over and over again, but I really didn't want it. What do you look like? You, I'm gonna keep trying to do this and I don't genuinely want it. And I'm not saying, bro, you have to go to the gym right now. Like, this is the only thing that's good. For, like, bro, everybody got their own thing. Some people genuinely feel like they don't have time to go to the gym. So if that's, what, if that's the case, that's the case. Everybody got their own different life. Mine just happens to be the gym, bro. Like, I done did all that, bro. I done did all that. I done did all that messing around, doing dumb stuff, just wasting my time with people and things of that nature, just doing pointless things. This time around, when I actually got locked into the gym, just everything done changed, bro. Like, just me going to the gym, I, it just feels better. In my mind, it feels better. I ain't gonna lie, though, I was slack. I was really lacking. I went to the gym solid. Like, I was in there six days a week at first. Like, then my grandma passed away in November. I was like, it was hard not to go back to what I was. Just drink, smoke. Like, that's all I really knew. Like, I feel like that was the only thing I was really good at anymore because I didn't like who I was anymore as a person. So I just would cover it up and drown in my sorrows on some stupid shit. I don't know what I was, what was going on in my mind, but I definitely was letting something else take over. But, um, so when she passed away, I had kind of got slack and I ain't gonna lie, like I had smoked, I had drank, I did all of that. I felt bad because I was still going to the gym, but it wasn't as intentional. It was kind of just like, I told myself I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna go. One night I had just I felt disgusting because like how much I realized I had smoked in that one night. And I don't, it's not like weed, it was like nicotine, bro, like the vape, like all that just going crazy, just for what, I don't know. Rare shit, like, and um, after that night, I was just like, yeah, bro, I'm going back to my old ways if I don't stop. So it's either like stop right now or keep going and just see how bad it can get again. And that was my problem. I kept trying to, I think the main thing was, I knew I had a reason and I knew I had stuff to do, like things to accomplish, but I didn't, I don't think I really genuinely cared enough at that time to see. It was more so, I was low key getting so far gone and detached from everything and everybody. I was almost at a point to where I was like, how bad can I get? Like I was low, like it's selfish to even say that, but I'm being honest. I was at a point where I was so far gone in life, like everything is so far left. Like I'm on the verge of not, you know what I'm saying? Seeing any more daylight. It was really bad. I was literally, how bad can I get? How far can I go until it's too much? And then I had to realize like that's selfish. I got a little sister that I've been taking care of my whole life and I'm out here jeopardizing my life just cause I'm upset and I'm, not happy with who I am and where I'm at as a person, but then I just had to realize, like my go-to phrase, that boo-hoo, bro, cry me a river, whatever, like, be a man, bro. So that's that was my wake-up call, like, all right, time to be a man, like, time to get it together. So that's what happened, and I've been in the gym ever since, and you have my word here right now, bro, I just fully commit to it, just, and that's it, bro. Like, I don't, I don't have no, I don't got no boo, I don't got nobody I talk to. All I knew at one point was music. And like, as you can see on this channel, there's music videos. Yeah, I kind of strayed away from that because something happened. It's a topic for another day. Not that Jim fully replaced it because I can still sit here and rap my ass off. But it's just, I fell in love with being healthy instead of being unhealthy. And everything in my music was unhealthy. As soon as I made a song I was promoting about being sober, I basically jinxed myself. I was never sober again. I was tripping bad, bro. The gym really is just helped me. Peace of mind. Everybody go through their life shit, bro. Everybody do they, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know? It's just me and myself in this shit right now, bro. And y'all that's watching me, I appreciate y'all that watch me. So hey, y'all are the reason why I'm able to do this. So don't let, don't let people get in your way. You gotta let, let them go, let them go. So don't let people get in your way. What you need to do, is what you need to do. Don't tell nobody. You do it, you conquer it. Celebrate in silence. Don't make it loud, don't make it all loud. We don't need an applause. Do it by yourself. Like you've seen everywhere across the world, across social media, bro, they always gonna celebrate when you make it, but what they gonna do beforehand? Ain't nobody there. Nobody there in the beginning.
they only want to be there when it's hot. So lock in. And when it's hot, remain the same. Keep the same people you got with you unless they do what they, that weird shit that some people be doing. But as long as you got some family, bro, you have maybe one to two, couple of friends, your, your money, whatever, animals, whatever you want to have around. But just know when it's time to celebrate later. Not everybody going to be there, bro. So make sure you have a great selection with who you surround yourself with because people will use you for your time. I'm a victim. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't got so short of a lot of shit. People just wanted me for my time, my mind, my money, anything. But with that being said, be able to know the difference between somebody that's actually here or somebody that's just here for the moment. Fuck what anybody got to say. You are you. It's always room for improvement. I'ma always say that. But I'ma see y'all in the next vlog. This was some quick. I didn't really get to do too much because. But the gym stuff will be more fun. Y'all will get to see that. I need to go get a mic. So if y'all could, thank you for watching and staying to the end of the video. If you could, drop down like some mics that I should get. Because I don't know none about no mics. And leave it in the comments. So thank you for tuning in. You got to leave a like, comment. And if you're new to the channel, you know what's going on. You got to subscribe. So, But I'll see y'all in the next one. I hope you like the video. How to get fly with Nate 101. Hygiene video. We out.